oh and one to Jazz shoots one the other way and there's the Marlins first hit by Bohm at third leadoff knock here in the fourth. That'll be interesting to see I know as fearless as Jazz is. This combination has been one that has stopped well there you go won't need to steal that one gets away from Hoskins and up to second he goes and now that one gets away but backing up is McCutcheon in left field. That's probably on Hoskins. He just kind of whiffed. Not a perfect throw, but under the glove. Wheeler's only given up one stolen base in the last two seasons. He's not even given up one this year. Go back to last year, base dealers were one for one. And the other way, Miggy into right field. Here comes Harper's throw. Now hold Jazz first and third. Well, how many times have we seen Miggy Rowe? We talk about situational hitting. Rojas, everything about that swing going the other way. Jazz flying around the bases. Into center field, Herrera makes the catch. Here comes Jazz. He will score the game's first run. It's a sack fly for Adam Duvall, and the Marlins take a 1 0 lead. Yeah. Get him on, get him over, get him in. This pitch up in the zone. Herrera in, then back out. So he positioned himself well for even a, a try it. Jazz at the plate. Very interesting how these two innings have played themselves out, right? Let's not forget, Wheeler led off with a double. Andrew McCutcheon failed to get Wheeler to third base. Wheeler's got his signs. He's ready to go, and the 2-2. Swing and a miss. He got him. Threw him a changeup. Ten strikeouts for Wheeler for the tenth time in his career. And you read fastball here. Think I got to catch up to it. Rojas not very happy with himself. Way out in front. Be that out far out in front of a 90 mile an hour pitch. Well, I guess you geared up for 99. That shows you his good arm speed on that. And then you know what Wallach ends up doing at home plate. Great job by Duvall. And now Bohm off the wall and right. Duvall gets it in. Harper stops oh. it. There's another one. That's another outfield assist for Adam Duvall. How do you like that? His fifth throws an absolute bullet to second base and gets Bohm two away. Well, every time we seem to give Duvall some praise in the outfield, he kind of one-ups us. He does it, he's done it again. Literally to the pitch. Now he made this look easy. A rocket off the bat of Bohm. Played perfectly off the wall by Duvall. And an even more perfect throw. My goodness. One and two to Sierra. Wheeler set to go. And he delivers. A little tapper back to the mound. Wheeler's got it. Throws to first. <laughs> <in time. laughs> Take that, Reese. <laughs> One three on the put out. Can't wait to see how hard that was over to first base. No runs, two hits, two men left. Time to stretch. Last year, his ground ball rate was 70%. There's another ground ball. It's going to be a tough play. Aguilar flips and Miller is out at first. I didn't think there was any chance they were going to get him. Neither did I. And maybe they didn't. Who knows? The Phillies are going to look at it. I think if Brad had run through the bag, you think Benny would have made it? Yeah, so I, I just don't like the head first into first. They're going to look at it. Dan Sonia was given him a five count. I don't know if Blyer ever got the bag. Oh, he got it with his heel. With his right heel. Yeah, but did he get it the same time the hand was on the bag? I don't know if they'll be able to overturn it. Hands on the bag to your left. Ball's not in the glove yet to your right. That we we sync those up perfectly. So the timing is right. So if they look at that, you would deem him being safe. Right. And again, Ben, you mentioned the heel hitting the bag. It may have hit the bag, but I 
I argue that the hand was on the bag when the when the heel hit the bag. I hope you're right. But I don't know if they're going to have enough to overturn. If they do what we just did right there, they should be able to see that it's that he's safe. Uh, this is taking way too long. Here we go. Watch the man to the left. All right. Let's go. First and third, one man down. And the 3 1 pitch. Fly ball center field. Birdie going back toward the track. He's under it, makes the catch. Tagging from third is Maton, and this ball game is tied. The teams have traded sacrifice flies in this game. Andrew McCutcheon, who does his job, 18 runs batted in. Talked about the little things last year in the winning record against the Philadelphia Phillies. So far tonight, the Marlins have done it. Oh. And Jazz with a drive out to right field, turning, looking, gone, two run homer. A hundred miles an hour ends up in the right field seats, and the Marlins take the lead. Jazz Chisholm gets it done again, a hundred miles an hour at the top of the zone against Alvar Alvarado. I mean, my goodness. Yes, you did, Jazz. Wow. Oh, and one. Out toward right center field. On the run is Birdie. Out toward the scoreboard, and it's off the scoreboard, and Birdie slams into the wall. Hoskins is coming home. The throw to the plate, not in time. RBI double makes it a one-run game. Flashbacks to Aaron Rowan here. Different part of the wall, but way to go down and get that change up, Alec Bohm. Thanks comes off the wall and it hits him right in the neck. Shoulder and then the neck. Aton's done so many things well. And this is rookie year. And he lines that one into right field to base it. Oduble froze for a moment. One run will score. RBI single. We're tied up at three. Got to see these guys battle back the way they're going. 11 hits now. And the 0 1 to Therese. And he lines it into left field to base hit. One run is in. Rounding third is Nap. He'll score. It's a two run double for Torres. And the Phillies have taken the lead. It's five to three. I mean, that's up at his eyes. You know, the team down eight nothing yesterday, Tom. I know they ended up losing 10 to eight. But I think it has some residual effects on this ball club today. Getting down and then getting down again. A high bouncer, right side. Aguilar bare hands it, throws wide of the plate, a run scores. And the ball is pinballing around. 6 3, Phillies are on top. Phillies are up 6 to 3. And it's 3 and 2 to Harper. And he lines it to right field. That's in for a base hit. One is in. Here comes McCutcheon. The throw to the plate by Chisholm. Not in time. Two run single for Harper. It's a seven run eighth inning. And the Phillies lead it eight to three. Three two breaking ball that does absolutely nothing. Nice smokes it to right field. Back at it again, the one two. And a call, strike three on the outside corner with the splitter. And the Phillies have come from behind to take game one against the Marlins by a final score of eight to three. They stormed back with a seven run eighth inning. 